Hey everybody, Max and Hughes here for the How To Film Crew, and welcome to our very first visual effects tutorial, iGlow. The iGlow effect can be used for many different things to show that your character is a vampire, a superhero, a crazy wizard dude, or somebody who hung out way too long on the planet Arrakis. However you choose to use this effect, whether it's subtle or over the top, it's a very effective one and, in my opinion, it's a very essential technique to have in your VFX arsenal. So for today, we're going to be using this test footage we shot for Abby Star a couple of years ago as our comp footage, so let's get started. Okay, so we're using this footage we shot for Abby Star a couple of years ago, but you can follow along with whatever you have, uh, whether that's stock footage or something you shot yourself. But the first thing you want to do is bring that into After Effects and create a new comp, and then once you have it in there, you're going to want to duplicate that footage. All right, once you've done that, we're going to create a mask around our actor's face. Uh, that mask doesn't have to be perfect, but that's what we're going to be using to track. Once you've done that, we're going to go to our tracker window, and we're going to open up face tracking detailed features. Uh, this is a new feature that the newest version of After Effects has, and it's very helpful. Okay, now we're going to track forward, and you can see all these detailed track points. Uh, this is going to allow us to be very, very specific with where we want to place our effect. Um, this allows you to do it on the eyes, nose, mouth, whatever you want to do. And there's a lot of different capabilities for this effect, which we'll get into another time. Uh, but today, we're going to focus mainly on the eyes, specifically the pupil. And that's what we're going to be tracking. So, next thing we want to do is we actually want to create our eye glow. So let's go to Layer, New, Solid. Going to name this eye glow. And then we're going to use effects, noise and grain, turbulent noise. I'm going to change this to dynamic progressive, and we're going to invert it uh, to give it more of a fiery look. Uh, maybe not that. <laughs> Let's scale it up a little bit. And let's adjust the contrast. And now we want to create a circular mask in the center. Hold down shift and create a circular mask. A little cluster looks really cool right there. It's in right there. And then we're going to feather this out a little bit. We're going to pre-compose. Move all attributes. Okay. And we're going to change the evolution settings. So we're going to move to the beginning of the timeline there, hit a create a keyframe, move forward, change that to about 300 ish. Uh, actually, no, else it's good. Just one. One's good. One revolution is good. Yeah, one's fine. We don't need anything. Okay, let's play through. And then you can see that it gives a good ripple effect, a very fiery kind of shimmery effect, which we want. Now we will want to move this, scale it down so it fits just over her eye. Put over her right eye, and we're going to scale it down, get it just where we want it. Um, in the original footage, we had it where it was like just coming from the, the pupil, so it was very, very small. It's almost like an ember in the eye. Um, we may play around some settings here. Let's uh, change that to screen. Scale it down a little more. Let's get it right in the center of the eye. Actually, you know what? Let's make it a little bit bigger this time. We want to show up for the effect for this tutorial. <laughs> All right, that's looking pretty good. And now we're gonna track it. So you're gonna open up these face tracker points, uh, the right eye. And we're gonna open up position. And we're gonna pick with to our right pupil. That's not the right pupil, let's try that again. To the right pupil. 
and now it's tracking that. So I'll be off a little bit, and it always seems to do that. Uh, so you can use your anchor point and adjust that to center it up. And once you have it where you feel it looks good, then we can start making some other adjustments. And see, it's, it's following. So we're, we're getting close. So adjust it just a little bit more. Line it up. Yeah. There we go. Looks a lot better. Okay. All right, let's go to effects. Let's give this a little bit of color. Let's go to hue and saturation, and we're going to go to colorize, and we're going to beef up that uh, saturation. Now, you can use whatever color you want. Um, we used a um, sort of bluish purple in the uh, test footage, uh, but I think we're going to go with the green today. Kind of fun. And again, you can change it to whatever color you want. Uh, I think I just wanted something a little more contrasty this time. And again, like you, all you can just, just adjust your setting there and you can do whatever color you want. That, let's uh, actually make it a little more of a tealish green. Kind of that Maleficent, Loki kind of look to it. Since she is mind controlling somebody. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, duplicate this footage. And then we use the bottom instance, since the first one's already locked, we'll use the bottom instance to go ahead and track to the other eye. So let's open up that left eye setting and do the same thing. Just pick it to the left pupil. All right. And then just make your adjustments there and you're pretty much done, guys. Yeah, let's play through and Look at that. Now her eyes are glowing. And again, you can use a bunch of other effects to kind of beat this up a little bit, put a little more glow to it, a little more this, that, and the other, but essentially the effect is looking good. So you know, let's, go, let's give it a little bit of glow first. Let's go to Stylize, Glow, and we'll want to adjust our settings a little bit. Yeah, that looks good. And then we'll just copy that effect. And paste it into the other eye. All right. And let's play through again. And boom, now you have a tracked eye glow. And that's it. That's uh, the basics on how to do an eye glow. And there's a lot of different ways, a lot of other ways you can do this. Uh, we'll get into those in another time. Uh, but for now, thank you so much for checking us out. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And we will see you guys next time.